Hey, what's going on guys? LogDadZip here. Welcome back to the Tempest Box, episode 20. Today's episode features these little guys in a big way. We just picked ourselves up a spawn wolf egg. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of an experiment. What does that mean? Well, find out soon. But first, the question of the day from Braden Steves, and he asks, How do you download the Tempest Box? Which is what we're playing currently, if you didn't know. Well, you can check out the download link in the description of this video, as well as in the description of every single Tempest Box episode, which will take you to Mr. Xavier Hodgson, a.k.a. dragon 14s download page for the Tempest Box. He's the guy that basically maintains, and for the most part, coded the entirety of this custom command mod pack, and he is the man! But anyways, guys, if you guys want your question to be featured in the Tempest Box, all you have to do is leave a like rating on this video right now, baby. As well as the question you want to ask me, and you've got a chance at being featured. Oh yeah, I gotta put this book away. <laughs> Ever since finding so many diamonds, I've been exploring a lot more with my ether staff, and one thing that I noticed near my nice little villager area is this little spawner that we forgot about from ages ago. We found ourselves a spider spawner way back in the day, and so what we're gonna do with it, you are now a wolf spawner. And so what we have now learned is since we are so close to our other spawner, we're actually just going to combine these two together so that we can get all these wolves nearby. I mean, seriously, you see how close we are? There's the, you see? Ridiculously close. Actually, I'm gonna go grab an extraction staff really quick. Y'all gonna understand what we're gonna be doing this episode is spawning in hundreds of wolves and then killing mobs with them. Oh, it's gonna be a good time. <laughs> Okay, so apparently wolf farms actually work a little bit different from normal mob spawners. We need to use a whole bunch of grass. Like, we got my silk touch pickaxe, got a bunch of grass blocks now. Ugh. And then we've gone ahead and extracted with our staff all the way down to the same level that our mine... And I'll just show you real quick. That's where our spawner friend is. Right, right, right. Here's where the mine card is. So I guess the idea here is I looked up a farm. We need to make the spawner pair... Yeah! Whoa! Hey, that worked great! That was instant! And so what we need to do is use grass plus wooden trap doors to make the wolves kind of like fall fall down, essentially. And then we just line the whole thing with water, they'll all get siphoned down to the rail area, and then that's where we'll start to uh, start taming them all. We've got a whole bunch of bones from a mob grinder, plus we got that looting three sword. Ooh, too good. Hey buddy, easy does it. You'll be mine soon. So, it doesn't look like the wolves usually want to move down by themselves. It might have something to do with the other wolves that are spawning in, but what I think I'm going to do is place like a sheep just out of reach of the wolves so they'll keep trying to jump at it and attack it. But it might we might not need to do that. I'm actually going to go ahead and place down the water right now, and this might be all we need. Truth be told, let me see. I got a couple more buckets. I relax. Uh, it'll all be over soon. Wow, how often does that happen? I had exactly the right amount of trap doors, although I accidentally just goofed one. Anyways, yeah, we placed the water down. Farm is looking fantastical. Please let me grab you. Oh, fine. You can see that all the wolves are slowly siphoning down here. All we're going to get now, we're going to use our harvest staff to get ourselves one sheep. And then they're all going to start barreling towards it at maximum speed. Oh, I'm so excited. Harvest staff, honestly, coolest thing in the land. Such a big fan of this thing. Now we can get ourselves a nice sheep at no cost to us at all. Yeah, got my sheep egg. We'll be on our way. Of course, we got to name this sheep. Hmm. Ooh, I know. The bait. Okay, I think we're ready. All we need to do is close these down so that the wolves will think it's like a full block or something, and that's what makes it work. I place the sheep down here. I place down the bait. You are the bait. Oh! Okay. <sighs> okay, it looks like it's gonna work though. They're gonna- Yeah! Yeah! You're doing great, the bait. You just need to stay put. Wow, they really want that guy, don't they? Are they gonna all start drowning? No. Hey, no. This is not what I wanted. This is bad. Okay. Very bad. Well, I think if they reach- are y'all start? Oh no! The bait! What have you done? All right, just making the finishing touches. This thing is amazing. There are so many. Now come on, <laughs> stupid wolf. Now most of them don't get stuck like that guy, but you know that's just that's just called Darwinism. You know, every once in a while you're just gonna run into a wolf that just doesn't know how to swim, and I didn't want him anyways. 
So yeah, now all we gotta do is get a bunch of bones and start taming all these guys. Sounds like there's a lot of mobs up here. Here is all the bones I've got between all the looting we've done, mob grinding, and our new harvester sword that's got the looting three out. It's pretty good stuff. So we're gonna kill these guys and see what our final bone count is. Well, that's a lot of... Wow, there's a lot of... Wow, there's a lot of mobs. As many. <laughs> oh, wow. Pretty decent final haul. We've got over three stacks of bones. Ooh, wow. How, we somehow killed an Enderman in there. I don't usually... That doesn't usually happen, to be honest. But yeah, we got three stacks of bones to hit our fullest potential of wolf friends. They are right up this ladder. I can't wait to see them. Well, I hope they don't respawn or despawn if you don't tame them. We, might, we may have just lost all... No, 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 no. Okay. We got plenty. Hey! What is it? One... What, uh, I was gonna say that was a very good. Okay, well it begins. It li it literally it starts, friends. Let's start taming these suckers. <laughs> wow, we managed to tame all of them in less than one stack. Oh, okay, we got. An oh no, no, he's just. Hey, buddy, take it easy. Now I think this is a good starting round. The way wolves work, as far as I'm aware, is if they are not in sitting mode, they will teleport to you if you get too far from them. So what I'm going to try and do here is make them all in non-sitting mode, and I'm gonna try and have them teleport to me once we get to the surface. This may be something I actually wanna use with my ether staff so I can instantly just ghost mode up to the top there. This might be a little harder to do otherwise, but for the time being, I wanna see if they all follow me. Oh, yes. Yes! Oh boy, I'm so happy about this. Did we get them all? Look at him! Oh my word! Okay, so we may need to be a little bit careful about how we do this. If we accidentally go too far away from these guys, I believe they'll all teleport up there, and I'm sure that some of them will end up falling. So let's very carefully... Right. Get up. Here we go. Come on. Oh, wow. Okay. Definitely don't push each other off. We're almost to the top. Hey, those are going to be the OG four. Here we go. Aye, aye, aye. They're all coming. Come on, babies. Let's do it. They've all made it to the surface, my little mini army. Okay. So this is just the test. Now that we know we can make all of these guys get up here safely, we're going to get them to all. <laughs> oh, man. They're all going to assemble. Okay. We're going to get all these guys set up right here, and we'll be back in a second. Look at those guys, ready to kill, destroy, dead, yeah. <laughs> well, my friends, now it's just a waiting game. We're gonna let as many wolves spawn in as possible, and they're all gonna slowly push each other down. We will be back. Oh, gosh, I'm probably gonna let this run a couple hours. We'll be back. Well, we've been here for a little bit now. Let's go ahead and see what the damage is, huh? Down we drop. We may as well push you down. Come on down, buddy. <laughs> all right. Let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, my God. You gotta be <laughs> What? Look at this! We got so many! I don't even know if we're gonna... How can I do this? How do I do this? Oh! Okay! Well, Alright, I'm gonna try to start taming them all! I was doing it a group at a time, but honestly, it's so much more fun to just... I'm just gonna start right-clicking like a madman. Look how fast the bones are going down on my toolbar. <laughs> oh, man. And there's so many to tame still. You know, we've actually got a decent amount, surprisingly. We might be able to do all of them with this stack? I have high hopes. I shouldn't have done this. This is going to be so hard to find them now. All right, buddy. One more. Okay. We got a whole bunch of them tamed. I'm not sure... Oh, man, I really hope they don't despawn. This is crazy looking. Y'all need to sit. Seriously, pups. Y'all gotta sit. Look, they're having a party over there dancing. Okay, I just made them all follow me. So if I've done this right, they should all start up. Yes. Oh, no. My wolves are dying. <laughs> Ooh, good. This is perfect. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I have to get hit. Yeah, look. They all come alive. They all come alive and they all... Yeah, come on. Yeah. Oh, boy. I am so excited. All right, you know where we're gonna go? We're gonna head to the desert. Let's go, pups. Oh, I got a all sad again after that. Boy, hold on a sec. All right, folks. So, unfortunately, we had a lot of casualties. We got a lot more bones, but we lost a lot of wolves on the way up. A lot of them just plain old died. And so that's why you're hearing a lot of whining right now. Because a lot of these guys are low health. So we're just going to go for it. We're going to head to the desert. We're going to just change it to nighttime in a second when it needs to be changed at nighttime. And we're going to destroy some face with all my wolves. So here's the real test right here. Come on. There we go. 
Now, we need to see if they are going to follow me to the desert. I don't want them to spawn in, so I don't want them to get too close to me. Let's see if we can bring them all to the desert. If we've done this right, they'll all spawn right near wherever it is we land. We may have actually gone too far. We may need to, yeah, because the, they only move depending on chunks. We might just need to do that to make the move. Let me see. What happens if we go right here? Oh! How many wolves did we just die? What? Fine, you know what? We're just gonna go for a swim. <laughs> Take the long way. That was so... Wow, that made me so sad. You know what's killing them? The max entity cramming. That stupid game rule that got introduced. Every time they teleport to me, they're all in the same spot for like one tick. And so they all like slightly hurt. Wow, that sucks. We lost so many wolves from that. I think I'm gonna give myself some more. Like, look, every single time I like touch the ground in the water, I lose like eight wolves. Not cool. Watch, y'all wanna see? Watch, watch this, watch, watch, watch. Look, you see? Every trap! Alright, I gave myself a couple more wolves and we changed the game rule so that max entity cramming will only work with 100 mobs now. We should be good. Now it's just a matter of waiting for these babies to spawn on in. Come on, mobs, I'm ready for you. Look, he can't even reach me. He can't even get to me, the stupid creeper. <laughs> ah! Get him! I, I punched you! Eat! Oh no! Wow, we only lost four wolves from that. You guys are strong. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Okay, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh my gosh, literally can't even reach me. How funny is this? <laughs> Retreat into my impenetrable wolf wall. Whoa, wolf was slain by Enderman. Well, he actually attacked back. How about it? Wow, we got so many Endermen hanging out. In fact, there's two more. Oh, wait, how about this? Let's do it this way, huh? Watch this, watch this. Hey. Hey guys, hey guys, lock that zip here. Oh, hey, don't hit me, stupids. Ein, <laughs> these guys are the best. Yeah, kill them all. I got a wolf army. That's great. Ooh, and they just go for the, ha, they just go for skeletons. Don't mind me. <laughs> Pack of skellies, feeling jelly. Oh, what, where is that? E. That was close. Wow, there's lots of cre- Oh boy! Jeez! <laughs> Mob overload right now. Oh, what are they- uh, Stop! Get away from the cactus, you idiots! I hate you creepers! I blame the cre- Ooh! Oh! All my wolves are dying! I, and I'm hurting them too! And I just killed one by myself! He was slain using a harvester! Sad. Ooh, I want to see them handle a witch. Let's see them handle a witch. Witch coming in with a hey, look at that. <laughs> Got enough. Wow, we just lost so many wolves. A creeper. You know what? I'm starting to realize. So the creep. Oh, oh, creepers are not attacked by wolves. Wolves are smart. They don't attack creepers. Except now, like all of my wolves. Oh. I just lost so many wolves. All we need now is to have like a cat with us and then all skeletons and all creepers will stay away from me. All right, villagers. We're here for your trades and to more than likely trample all of your crops. Cause my wolves, they're just silly little guys. All right, what do we got, huh? What you got for trade, Mr. Cart- It's a cartographer. Hey, I'm trying to talk to that guy. Don't push him out of my way. Cartographer, what do you have for trade? Nothing. Now wait, what villagers are in here? Uh, blacksmith, okay. Any other cartographers though? That's what I'm all about. Ooh, there's another one in here. Hey, buddy. Ooh! Where- I wanna know what you got for trade, man. Let's see. Another cartographer- two cartographers. Really? Well, wait a second. There's a house down here that looks like it's kind of been buried. I'm curious. Stop- Wolves! Okay, it looks like there's one more- Librarian, finally! Protection! Worthless! You get to stay! Okay, so now I'm wondering if- 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 if we'll actually be fine to use our fireworks in conjunction I think as long as we stay close to land, it shouldn't really mess with the wolves' ability to keep up. You see? Yeah! This is how we travel with wolves. Okay. Dancing with wolves. Okay. So let's try and get all the way back to base as best we can while keeping the wolves on us. That would be very impressive. 
Well, we lost them all. We lost all the wolves. They stopped following me, and then I lost them because the desert is so big, and we're also completely out of fireworks, so I just didn't care to look that much longer. So, I think that's probably the best place for- Oh, my wolves are gone! That's okay, there's plenty of extras in the basement. That is gonna do it for this episode of the Tempest Box, my friends. I do hope you enjoyed our little wolf experiment gone wrong. I did not know what to expect with that, but I can say with certainty that I had a fantastic time watching, and I- or, well, I didn't watch. I gotta say, I had a fantastic time playing, and I hope y'all had a fantastic time watching as well. If you did, please do drop a like rating on the video. Let's me know that you want to see more Tempest Box. Is the wolf following me? He's following me! Yeah! Hey! Are you gonna come back this way now? Anyways, make sure you subscribe so you can see the next episode of the Tempest Box right as it comes out. As you can see, it's still plenty of wolves for us to... Oh, and even some pets as well. Thanks for watching, my friends. We will see you later.